Hi, I'm Kim Moran. I am the head of rare disease for the U.S. for UCB. I get to help people living with rare diseases all across the U.S. Uh, my focus right now is in myasthenia gravis and mitochondrial disease. Um, I have had the honor of having two FDA approvals for generalized myasthenia gravis this year with um, two novel medications to really help the unmet need. Um, I also get to leverage um, our strategic approach of being patient first and digital first. So we're able to first understand patients, their deep journey, um, knowing that each rare patient is different, especially those living with myasthenia gravis, and then how we can use that digital technology to find patients where they are and how we can meet their unmet needs. So um, Zilbrisk, um, which garnered its FDA approval last month, um, is approved for generalized myasthenia gravis. For those that are ACHR positive, that means anti-acetylcholine receptor antibody positive patients. What's unique about Zilbrisk, it is the first and only once daily subcutaneous C5 complement inhibitor. That means patients can actually self-administer this once daily medication. So all other targeted therapies for generalized myasthenia gravis generally mean some type of infusion or going to a brick and mortar doctor's office. Well, what's super exciting is we can support the broad needs of both patients and healthcare professionals. Um, what we see is that you need to tailor solution to problem. Each patient is different. So being able to have not one, but two types of different therapies, different mechanism of action, different mode of administration allows for an individualized treatment approach for patients with generalized myasthenia gravis.